Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Karaman campaign in uh, Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. Alright, so where were we? Um, yeah, that's right, we're currently annexing uh, both Orissa and Nepal. I think once we do that we'll be... well, Gujarat is still our vassals, so we won't completely run out of vassals. But, of course, running out of vassals is not a problem. And we're currently working on uh, getting a new one, if I know correctly. Yes, they will totally become my vassal, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to give that some time, and eventually that should work out quite nicely. Uh, we are losing money for some reason. I'm guessing that's because we have... we are... Five units over our limits, which we should probably think about. Uh, so I guess we should probably get rid of some units then. Something like that, maybe? Of course... Do we have any mercenaries? I don't think so. No, we only have two armies, but we need to disband it even further though, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but oh well. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, that should do it. Hopefully we should make some money now. Yes, there we go. Now, that was all that was needed. So I guess we can get a theologian to sort of make up for the fact that we no longer have sufficient troops to kill uh, nationalists. That's fine though. Uh, we can uh, get extra missionaries rank. Fuck yeah. I don't know exactly why we could do that decision, but I do not... I'm not complaining. Yeah, these missionizing things should go real quick now. So, I mean, I can only imagine how, how quick shit's gonna go once we get religious ideas. That should be crazy. Crazy indeed. Of course, the main advantage of that is that we'll get another... We'll get an extra um, conversion dude. Can we actually claim the defender? Because you do get an extra missionary by being the defender of the faith. No. And I guess my nation is not really the biggest and most powerful one either. At least, yeah. I'm, for, uh, among the Sunni nations. So, I mean, if anyone is going to be the defender, it would most likely be the Ottomans. So, no. Let's not care about that right now. Instead, let's... Think about future wars. Uh, I think a war against these fucks would be very much fun. More accurately, I want to invade Kachar. Uh, so let's start fabricating a claim on them. We can't do that. We need to quickly just cancel the whole improved relations thing, and then we need to go talk to Kachar about uh, death and things. We can marry no guy. Not really feeling like I should do that. I, I'm, I'm not really comp like it's yeah, pretend rebels. No guy is just gonna collapse. I think. Not gonna cancel my alliance quite yet, but I will consider doing that very soon, though, because I it kind of looks like they are just dying at the moment. I, mean, I, I think like I like like maybe like Chog type would be better, or well, by the looks of these borders, they are actually kind of weak, so maybe that wouldn't gain me so much, because that wouldn't make it so that I that I'll have to fight the Oirat Horde. Oh my god, they lead a union with Zhao. That is terrifying. Oh shit. <coughs> yeah, so the Oirator is very. There's going to be a huge threat to me um, in the uh, future. Holy crap, that's, that's scary. That's really scary. Yeah, we have a lot of very powerful neighbors. We need to become powerful ourselves. And one way to do that would have to be invading Tibet. But of course, if I invade Tibet, a lot of people are going to join up. Especially the fact that the Oirat Horde will join up if I invade Tibet. And I would like to avoid that. So, of course, the good thing about the fact that the, uh, I mean, it's the you know the fact that it's the Oirat Horde in question is of course that they might have some problems, especially if they like lose some war or something like that. It, it varies. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a while, but eventually. We can get some extra technology, which we probably should, as we are closing in on the limit. Well, no, it's still a while. But, eh, how much is this gonna be? 700. We still have 200 left, so I think we can core shit. Uh, less technology costs. Sweet, why? Ah, because our guy is awesome. Oh, sweet. Cheaper ideas and cheaper technology. Very nice. That's kind of a unique thing about the Muslims. Um, the fact that they get uh, special decisions depending on their ruler. I like it. Alright, come on, little claim. Come on, little claim. You know, you know you want to exist. It goes really fast now, though, because of our ideas. We get 50% bonus to fabrication times, so... 
Uh, yeah, no, they're Hindus. I won't be able to peacefully vassalize them regardless of what I wanted to do. So yeah, we have already, we have already found the, funded our army. So I think we should probably... I do want to try and kill their army day one, though. So let's quickly go over here. Yeah. Okay. I have no diplomats to send, but uh, now I do. Alright, no one's gonna join me, that's fine though. Do I really have that many allies? Delhi, Jampur, Bengal? Yeah, that's right, Jampur. But they don't really count though, they're just a future vassal, so... Fine, I don't really care that much. Let's go. So is Tibet on... Yeah, Tibet is in on this, but Kachar is still a war leader, so now... I'm fighting Tibet without actually having to um, fight any of Tibet's allies, which is nice. Are Tibet a nation that I could vassalize? I don't think they are. I think they're far too big. Um, yeah, they're big. I think I'll try to take some of this land, for example, right here. Try and make them small enough to vassalize later on. <clears throat> but for now, though, let's just um, kill Kachar. Just to get them out of the way. Could most likely go exploring with this army a little bit, and then this army could just split up and have some fun. Unless this is... Yeah, no, it's not a level 3, so we're fine. So, uh, Nepal's coming out to help, which is nice. So I don't know if this is a bad idea. Of course it is a bad idea, running around in the fucking Himalayas, but still. I don't know if they're gonna bring some Doomstack towards me. I'm, I, I'm, I don't think these guys have too much of a doomstack going on though, so... I'm not that worried, but uh, I am losing manpower by doing this, so I need to be careful. That one is done. Uh, Alright, let's do like that. Because if they come down here, we can see it in advance and hopefully get some units in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know where their army is. I don't know, does it say anything? They still have it. quite a bit, decent chunk of troops hiding somewhere. Uh, of course, I have a vast superior number to that, but that's only because of my vassals. And uh, as you know, as you guys know by now, my vassals are retarded, so you can't really expect too much from them. Ottoman conquest, yeah, the Ottomans like to conquer. They do like to do that. Get inflation? No, don't want to get inflation. I have far too much already. Repair relations with Korar. I can do that. Unless, yeah, it's only uh, 50 relations. Although, it's gonna be a little bit difficult though, mainly because they have that rival attitude. But once we get rid of the aggressive expansion, they should stop hating on me so fucking much, so... Uh, yeah. I think we should be fine in taking that mission. Because my goal is going to be, anyways, to actually try and um, vassalize these guys peacefully at some point. It's just that rival attitude. I mean, the second they get rid of that, I should be able to vassalize them quite easily. I'm gonna keep the diplomat going for now, though. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm gonna put him here for now, though, because uh, I do need, I do want a, a diplomat to talk to Tibet once we can start talking peace. Because that's just what you do. No more religious turmoil going on in that place. All right. So that one is done. Okay, let's go to Derang. So that one is also done. So I'm most like I'll most likely make these guys a vassal. Uh, they have claims on stuff that I own though. But I, yeah. Well, actually, no. The provinces are kind of shit. But I am I'm going to annex two of these nations. I I mean I uh, I don't know. I kind of want to just annex them. I I'll, I'll have to see how much overextension that will give me before I do anything. <clears throat> Alright, that one's done. Let's go to the capital and chill out there. Should give us a decent bit of war score. Now, I don't know if they're gonna bring some army in. Hopefully, I have better technology than they do. They have five, I have eight. Yes, I'm very superior. I'm not too, too afraid of these Tibetians. They simply do not scare me anymore. Yeah, let's do it like that. Alright, we convert another another province. Let's continue that. Yeah, soon all of this land we just took here is gonna be properly cored. I mean, uh, converted, so... That is nice. I got that going for me, which is nice. 
Oh, come on, come on. Why won't you... There we go. Of course, once again, I do not know whether or not this is going to be a terrible disaster, because they might have troops here that I do, simply do not know. You know, I, just, I might not, just not know they exist. Nope, they do not have any troops there. I'm guessing maybe they have their troops derping about in China somewhere, or in Ming more accurately. I don't know, though. <clears throat> oh, still a little bit sick. Or I'm not really sick, I'm just, um... Oh, what do you call it? I don't even remember anymore. It's winter, and winter tends to do that. Alright. Oh, come on! Yeah, I'll join, but, uh, yeah. Once this war is over, I'll cancel my alliance with no guy. This is just not... This is not worth it anymore. I can say that much. <clears throat> it simply does not make sense. Alright. Lose some legitimacy, that's fine though, because we just gained two more provinces that have the wrong religion. That's that's a problem. Yeah, our nation is really starting to... It's a little bit all over the place now, that's kind of the thing that's going on here. But hopefully we can connect these two lands. That would be nice. So, Delhi is threatened. Bengal is friendly though. Yeah, a war against Delhi would be very great. I really want to destroy them. Incorporate, incorporate them into my nation. Any dispute of successions that I uh, should care about? Karakol Lunajd? No. Well, Noga is interesting, though. Could I claim your throne? No, I need a royal marriage. But I could do it, though. I could do it. But I didn't I already do that? No, I did it with the Timurids. And that didn't work out at all, so... Yeah, I don't know. Noga is a mess. I don't think we're going to be able to claim anything over there. I don't know, though. That one is done. So they have some land over here that we need to go check out. Orissa is a part of our nation. Very cool. We got these provinces down here in the coast now. And now, of course, we are far over our limits. Oh my god. That's terrible. Why, am, why is my force limit so bad? Seriously. I don't know how they were able to have that many troops and I am not even able to have close to that. Do not know the logic of that, but so well, whatever. Alright, so now we have a bunch of people that are not doing anything. Let's go talk to these guys, and let's go talk to Corizan. So, your opinion of me is still a rivalry, so... Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, well. An accepted culture lost! Oh, two of them! Wow! So what do we accept now? Only Rajput and Corizani. Oh, crap. Yeah, I think, I mean, we, that's why, I think that might have something to do with the fact that we are kind of shit, is that none of our provinces are actually the right cultures. I think we might consider just go ahead and spam some culture conversions at this point. Simply because, um, we do need some actual taxes. So I'm not going to do this too much though, but I will do it a little bit. <clears throat> we do need some provinces with our own culture, because this is just getting ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to postpone getting another idea. Instead, we'll go do some culture conversion. All kinds of culture conversion. Yeah, I'll save the rest of it for... Um, I don't know, some of you guys might think this is a bad idea. I'm not going to claim that this is very smart, but I, I just... Like, I did... It, I need some sort of a base to build. I need at least some territories that have my culture. I feel like that's necessary, so that's why I'm doing it. You guys can think whatever of my decisions. Religious fanatics have risen up in this land, and that's an issue. Uh, which we should probably go deal with. Alright. So what could we ask Tibet to give us? We have only that much of a war score, so... Yeah, we'll need a lot more war score if we want to do all this. It's gonna be a lot of overextension, but... Well, we maybe don't not... not... Yeah, this is better, I think. Although they might annex something from the Chinese, though. But I want this, though. I know that for a fact. So... The war must uh, go on. Uh, 
us properly win this. Oh, so they just peaced out. Uh, yes. So now we can take a look and see how... Uh, yeah, still 92% if we do it that way, so they haven't expanded. And I'm, I'll most likely be able to like, warn them or whatever, <coughs> uh, so I prevent them from doing anything stupid. Gain piety. Do we have any, how, many, how much piety do you have? A lot of it. Um, but I do need the piety though, so... I do indeed need that stuff. Shit's important. Right, would you accept my peace offer now? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the bet here. Uh, I do not have enough power points because I spent them all. <laughs> oh god, that's an issue. Fine, we'll have to wait a little bit then. Uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. I didn't think it would be that expensive, but it was. Fine, let's just finish them off then. Unless... No, I don't want your money. Well, I do want your money, but I don't want... Yeah, dwell with your and your... I don't care about you anymore, Deli. Sorry. You are not loved by me anymore, and if you want to break the alliance, that's fine. I don't care about... Yeah, I just... I want to conquer them, so... I'm gonna have to cancel that jet at some point anyways. Uh, just... It's gonna be a little bit uh, problematic right now, though, because they are allied to the Chag... Well, Chagta is not that powerful, actually. The Bengal is an issue. Uh, so in order to, like, properly take down Bengal, we'll have to... We'll have to convince them to join us in some war against someone random, and then we can declare war in Delhi. We should probably be able to figure that one out. Shouldn't be too, too difficult. Uh, yes, that's pretty good. I think. Uh, Alright, we can get another military thing, which will give us more prestige. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, I think we can peace out Tibet now. Yes, alright. Take some money. And leave it at that. There we go, Karaman, bitch. Why? Needs to be adjacent. Oh, really? Uh, really now? I cannot core this. Mm, I can't core any of these provinces. I'll need to wait until these finishes. Oh, that's annoying. And it's going to be five years as well. Oh, God. Oh, well. Now, what could we do against these people? 70 diplomatic power for that. Ugh. God. How much for a vassal? Only 35. I think we're just going to have to do it that way. We simply cannot afford doing it any other way. In the Jampuri... What? Against Janpur? This is defensive war? Wait, exactly what's going on here? I thought I th told you guys to be kind. Oh, what now? No. I'm not gonna fight these guys. They're gonna be my fracking vassals. What the hell are you, what are, what are you talking about? But what the hell is this, though? Why are you attacking? This does not make any sense. Oh, crap. Can I declare war? No way. Oh, God damn it! now they're going to die. Oh, fuck. Ah, that's a problem. We just lost our freaking alliance, and they hate me now. Like, a lot. Shit. Maybe we'll try to take down, um... We'll try and take down Be uh, Bengal first, though. It's most likely going to work out better. Yeah, this is a problem. <clears throat> uh, I do not know the logic of the... I don't know why they decided to attack them. That does not make sense to me at all. Alright, so we're losing money now. That's a problem. Um, seriously, though, what the hell? Uh, because we're over our limits? No, we're not. We're actually under our limits. Well, I guess it's because we have, like, no promises that are Turkic. Well, no, then we just convert a bunch. No, only three. These ones are gonna take a while. 
They're not the Catholic faith? Alright. Alright, so we converted that. Next in line is... Chin. Let's do Chin. I want to do the places here first. I want to get these stuff, these promises cored before I do anything over there, so... Yeah. <clears throat> yep, there we go. They're getting fucked now. Oh, come on, dude. They're just gonna get annexed. Fuck, and I just lost my alliance for nothing. So I can claim the defender. Um, but I don't really... don't. I don't necessarily want that. Because that's just gonna kill all my money. Oh, what the hell? Mughal nationalists, really? I can't walk there, though, so I'll do that. But still, that's a surprise. I didn't think that would be a thing. Oh, we are still actually at war, of course. Uh, can I just not be in this war anymore? Uzbek, I don't appreciate this. No. Well, they should peace out any moment now, though. Uh, I don't think they can get down to me, so... I'm not too, too worried. I should probably build some buildings. I need more income. This is getting tragic. That's usually an, a, pro a thing I usually do that I shouldn't be doing. I never build buildings. So I always have, like, shit for income. And I'm, I'm gonna try to be better at that, though. I'm actually gonna try to build some crap. Okay, so something is going on over here. Still under the personal union. Still no chance of inheritance, so... It's fine. Vagina Gar is still stable. Uh, yeah, free prestige. <clears throat> I do not mind that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh come on, game. You're really gonna do this to me now? Okay, that sucks. Get some Azab infantry in a large mortar. And next time I attack them, I will actually fund my fracking troops. <laughs> yeah, oh, so the big... Byzantines are not dead yet. No, they still control these islands. Interesting. But they're gonna get die now, though. Most likely. So, yeah. Units have suffered casualties. Yeah, I know that. Oh, nice. Gujarat decided to join up. We have lost trade dispute against Khorasan. Okay. If you say so. Oh yeah, those are buildings. Those are not troops. I am retarded. Alright. So let's fund our troops. Uh, which is going to make us lose money. Oh god, what the hell. I understand we're going to lose money, but that's a lot, though. Is there a particular reason for this? I do not have a lot of war exhaustion or anything, so I don't really get it. I really don't. Well, there we go. They're dead now, so now we can start unfunding our troops. Well, I'm guessing it's because of replenishment. That wouldn't surprise me. Right, so you still rival me? Oh, come on, dude. I don't get it. I don't get it. We shouldn't be rivaling me. I do think we need to declare war. Yeah, sh let's, uh, let's... Should we just declare war on them, them immediately? Although, I want to get rid of a relation first, though. I want to get rid of this stupid alliance with no guy. It's not helping me at all. I should try and bro up with the Ottomans. They're far away, though, but eventually we might be able to get an alliance going. So Persia is actually threatened, which should allow me to get an alliance. Yeah, we could actually ally Persia. Fuck yeah, let's do that. We just need uh, relations up. Because uh, threatened is one of those things you can... It's a good, it's basically like a good relation, you know? It allows you to ally them. So I could, in theory, get Bengal back as an ally. Alright, so this war stopped and they didn't actually annex them. I do not know why. And I don't know why I didn't get called into the war. Oh, because they, they didn't attack them. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh god, our king is dead. The king is no longer alive. But we can do a couple of these things, which is nice. Boost stability. Uh, Timurids are having some problems. Which most likely mean that they're going to have a bunch of... Problems or whatever. They're gonna have like succession war or, or, and stuff. I don't know exactly. Uh, whatever. 
Let's convert some more provinces. Or what do you guys think? So this one is, we're working on that one. So accepted cultures look like this now. Should probably do geared. Get that one under our control. This one is too powerful. Do like that. And we'll have some nice sort of lands to tax, I guess. I approve that. Uh, oh god. Uh, yeah, sure. Quar quarantine the thing out shit out of it. That's so mean though, but. Sometimes, that's just, just what you're gonna have to do. Booty zealots. Do not approve. Go away. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, we need to come up with an excuse to go to war against uh, Bengal. I really wanna fight them. But I also, fuck, I haven't been improving relations with these people. And you're threatened to me now? Oh, You'll still accept vassalization though, so it's fine. Why won't these guys be threatened? I don't understand why Persia feels threatened while Khorasan thinks they're a rival. <coughs> I mean, seriously, what the hell? Where, where's the logic in that? Am I the only one thinking that's a little bit silly? I don't think so. Okay, finally, god. We can introduce some taxes some for the non-Muslims. Okay, so fuck you, no guy, you are useless. Eat shit and die in a fire. Alright, there's all this shit. Let's get another alliance instead. No, I hate you. Just saying, just saying, you know, no big deal. These guys are, oh god, yeah, because we've annexed so many vassals. Oh, that, that's a problem though. We might actually have to wait a while until we can actually start annexing these guys. Oh god. How the fuck are we supposed to fix this? There's no way. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, here's one opportunity at least to get some uh, extra extra boost to our relations. No there are limits, so let's temporarily cancel this thing because it's not that important, at least now. And instead we'll go talk to Nogai about dissolving that shit because they are useless. So they should hate me now. No they don't, they're like, well, Fine, if you don't like me, then I guess. Oh, well, look at that. Persia is actually friendly. Sweet. Yeah, pretty close. Oh, well, no. Oh, that's crap. Because we won't be able to ally them because we don't like them. That's so bullshit, though. I think that's so silly. It shouldn't be that way. Uh, like, I, 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 get, I should be able to decide who I like and who I don't like. I don't understand why they've made it that way. Because you can see, uh, any second now. Yeah, look at that. They would accept, but I can't ask because they don't like... What is that? I can ask for access. That'll improve my relations with them a little bit. But it's not going to be a big deal, though. Unless they start recognizing that we should be friends and they start improving relations with me, there's nothing we can really do. Or at least, I, I don't know of any other things I can do to, like, make me like them. I could marry them. I might do it. Oh, we need to keep converting. Oh, why is this taking forever all of a sudden? Have we lost piety? We have lost piety. Why have we lost piety? Shit, I might have misclicked. That might have happened. Oh, well, um, yeah. So, all of this is Muslim now, so let's do this one next. Then all of these lands will be Muslim. Alright, uh, we still don't like them though. Fuck, come on dude, we improve relations with me. We have border friction. Well, that's bullshit. Got another idea. Uh, oh well, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here though, so thanks so much for watching this episode, and uh, until next time, bye.